Share with me now a glimpse into the phenomenon that is the Wiggles. Hi, we're, we're the, the Wiggles. Wiggles. The biggest thing to come out of Australia, we got the Wiggles. Yeah, I love the Wiggles. Kids are now swarming the Wiggles. Do you like to wiggle? You know I do. Anthony Field and Jeff Fat were part of 80s feel-good band The Cockroaches and had success on the Australian chart with songs such as She's the One, which reached number seven in 1987. But when the band broke up in 1991, Anthony and Jeff joined forces with uni mates Murray Field and Greg Page and formed a children's band that would prove more successful than anything they'd previously experienced. Uh, does Emily live here? Um, no, but come in anyway. Please welcome the Red Wiggle. The Wiggles. <laughs> and the winner is the Wiggles. <laughs> With a debut gold album, followed by four platinum selling albums, the quartet has the ability to connect with the smallest of fans in a way that is entertaining and educational. The Wiggles videos were launched through Walmarts across America in June 99. To date, the Wiggles have sold in excess of 3 million CDs and 11 million videos DVDs worldwide. Mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes, 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 potatoes. In Australia alone, the Wiggles are responsible for an incredible 7.3% of total videos DVDs sold. You see, for me, there's only ever been one role model, and that's Dorothy the Dinosaur. You see, she proves that as a woman, it doesn't matter what you look like. Dorothy the dinosaur is munching on some roses. Intrinsically part of the lives of so many families across the world, the children's supergroup reward their fans with regular tours. Last August alone, the Wiggles performed to over 250,000 people. I was one of the original Wiggles, but my shirt wasn't the right color. Right. You know, I was beige. From down under, the Wiggles. Last year saw the Wiggles' third appearance in the famous Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Cultures all actually broke up because of the Wiggles. Um, we couldn't compete with them musically, and um, besides that, we didn't look good in coloured skivvies. As well as their own show on the US Disney Channel, the Wiggles have toured America nine times in the past three years. And in November, they'll return to the US to perform eight sold-out shows at Madison Square Garden's theatre. Odyssey number five would never have happened if we hadn't learned to count to five. And we have the Wiggles to thank for that. To the big red car! Chug a chug a big red car We're gonna ride the whole day long Yes! But with great confidence, they are the Wiggles. We weren't really chasing success to make a lot of money or to be the biggest thing in the world. We just thought what we were doing was fun and we wanted to keep doing it. They've sold more than seven million albums. They're like a phenomenon, aren't they, in the world of entertainment? And 23 million DVDs. They managed to encapsulate so much of what kids love. They hold the record for winning the most ARIA awards in any one category. And one of them is such a rock star, he sleeps all day. Wake up, Jeff! Potato, potato. 2011 sees the Wiggles celebrate 20 years of making music and entertaining the world's youngest music fans and some older ones. Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Good to be a Wiggle. 1987, Anthony Field and Jeff Fat were part of the feel-good Sydney band The Cockroaches, which had success with their biggest hit single, She's the One. When the band broke up in 1991, Anthony and Jeff joined forces with uni mates Greg Page and Murray Cook to form one of the most successful Australian music acts of all time. Hi, we're, we're the, the Wiggles. Wiggles! Over the following years, the Wiggles toured relentlessly, acting as their own roadies, bookkeepers and selling merchandise from the back of their tour van. It was a real grassroots thing. We, we went out there, there was the four of us in a van. You know, if something went wrong, well, we had to just deal with it ourselves. Releasing an album and touring every year, the Wiggles began breaking album sales records like no other children's act before them. The Wiggles' self-produced videos were met with the same success, awarded with the highest-selling children's video sales a staggering eight times. 
times. Do you like to wiggle? The biggest thing to come out of Australia, we got the wiggle. Overseas, the wiggles built their own success in America the same way they did at home, taking a grassroots approach and starting with small theatres and a couple of years later, selling out a massive 12 shows at New York's iconic Madison Square Garden. Repeatedly the highlight of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, on November 1st, 2003, New York City declared it Wiggles Day. Recently, their fellow musicians paid tribute by collaborating on a covers album of Wiggles songs, including covers by The Living End and more. The Wiggles continue to weave their magic for the world's little ones, as evidenced by their stack of album sales awards. 17 gold, 12 platinum, 3 double platinum and 10 multi-platinum awards. Their dedication to creating timeless children's classics serves to forge a lifelong love of music. ARIA congratulates the Wiggles on their contribution to Australian music and their induction into the ARIA Hall of Fame. Everybody bump a needle dance with me. Everybody bump a needle dance with me.